Arthur's Teacher Trouble by Mark Brown Hello, my name is Arthur. Welcome to Living Books. To have the story read to you, click right here. To play inside the story, click over here. To have the story read, okay. The bell rang. The first day of school was over. Kids ran out of every classroom, everyone but room 13. Here the students filed out slowly, in alphabetical order. See you tomorrow, said their teacher, Mr. Ratburn.
Good afternoon, Mr. Ratburn. Good afternoon, Mr. Ratburn. We had fun today, didn't we? Yes, Mr. Ratburn. Yes, Mr. Ratburn. This is going to be a long year. I can't believe he gave us homework the first day, said Arthur. I had the rat last year, said Prunella. Boy, do I feel sorry for you. Make one wrong move, and he puts you on death row, warned Binky Barnes. He's really a vampire with magical power, said Chris. Do I feel sorry for you? Oh no! As everyone was leaving, the principal came out of his office. Are you ready for the September Spellathon? He asked. Yeah! Cheered the crowd. Who's going to win this year? Asked the principal. Me! Everyone shouted. If I win again this year, do I get my name on the trophy twice? Asked Prunella. Not if I can help it. Whispered Francine. Huh? I don't foresee it being a problem. I certainly will be prepared. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I 
I won last year. Ooh! Are you ready for the September Spellathon? Yes! Wow! What a big trophy! Wow! A trophy! When Arthur got home, he slammed the back door. How was school? Mother asked. I got the strictest teacher in the whole world, grumbled Arthur. Just a minute.
Have a chocolate chip cookie, said Mother. Don't have time, said Arthur. I have tons of homework. I'll eat Arthur's, said D.W. I don't have any homework. You don't even go to school, said Arthur. I know. D.W. smiled. These are really good. These cookies are really good. These cookies are really good. Don't have time. I have tons of homework. One, two, three, four, boom, shaboom, boom, shaboom, boodooba. One, two, three, four, boom, shaboom, boom, shaboom, booba, shaboom, boom, shaboom, booba, boom. One at a time, D.W.
One, two, three, four, boom, shaboom, boom, shaboom, boo-doo-ba, shaboom, boom, shaboom, boo-doo-ba, boom. One at a time, D.W. Oh, I guess I'll have just one. Okay. After dinner, Arthur was still doing homework. What's that? Asked D.W. It's a map of Africa, said Arthur. Looks like a pepperoni pizza, said D.W. Africa. Blue. Brown. Black. Gray. Pink. Purple. Green. Orange. Yellow. Red. <laughs>
kindergarten, I won't have any homework. Miss Minker never gives it. Mom! called Arthur. D.W. is being a pest. Time for bed, said Mother. You can finish your map of Florida in the morning. Africa! said Arthur. I gotta get this done. Salt. Salt. The next day, Mr. Ratburn announced a spelling test for Friday. I want you to study very hard. He said, The test will have a hundred words. Buster looked pale. <sighs> and, continued Mr. Ratburn, The two students with the highest scores will represent our class at the all-school spellathon. A hundred words? September is fun.
gonna have to study real hard to beat Prunella. Maybe my computer can help me. Fun! That week, everyone in Arthur's class studied harder than ever. Spelling tricks and tips. Charm. Good luck, charm. Good luck, charm. Arthur spent a lot of time looking for quiet places to study. Arthur! Mom wanted me to give you some more words to study. Thanks, D.W. Keep out.
There's so many words. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Suddenly, it was Friday, and time for the test. Arthur could smell Miss Sweetwater's class making popcorn. He could hear Mrs. Fink's class leaving for a trip to the aquarium. Why did we have to get stuck with the rats? He whispered to Francine. Squid. S Q U I D. Squid. Fish. Yes. This is easy. This is easy. The next word is vacation. Pencils down, please. Pass your papers to the front. Mr. Ratburn corrected their papers during lunch. Class, he said, most of you did very well on the test, but only two of you spelled every word correctly. Muffy smiled. Francine hiccuped. Buster patted his good luck charm.
Mr. Ratburn cleared his throat. <clears throat> Our class representatives for the Spellathon will be the Brain and Arthur. There must be some mistake. <laughs> I did? Wow, Arthur, you won! I did? Yeah. I feel I'd win. I thought so. I feel I'd win. Wow, Arthur, you won. I did. I thought so. <laughs> Class, you all did very well. Congratulations, Brain and Arthur. Thank you. Mr. Rathburn gave Arthur and the Brain each a special list of words. Just study these, and you'll be ready for the Spellathon in two weeks. He said, Eskimo. E S K I M O. Eskimo. Eskimo. E S K I M O. Ask 
Eskimo. Banana. B A N A N A. Banana. Goldfish. G O L D F I S H. Goldfish. Airplane. A I R P L A N E. Airplane. Balloon. B A L L O O N. Balloon. Ambulance. A M B U L A N C E. Uh, uh, oh no! Ambulance! Trumpet! T R U M P E T! Trumpet! Faucet. F A U C E T. Faucet. Umbrella. U M B R E L L A. Umbrella. Turtle. T U R T L E E. Turtle. Glasses. G L A S S E S. Glasses. Squirrel. S Q U I R R E L. Squirrel. Astronaut. A S T R O N A U T. Astronaut. Telephone. T E L E P H O N E. Telephone. Dinosaur. D I N O S A U R. Hmm. Dinosaur. Cookie. C O O K I E. Cookie. Acrobat. A C R O B A T. Acrobat. Bicycle. B I C Y C L E. Bicycle.
Whale. W A A L E. Whale. Lightning. L I G H T N I N G. Lightning. Kitten. K I T T E N. <laughs> Kitten Chicken C H I C K E N <laughs> Chicken Basket B A S K E T Basket Seagull S E A G U L L hmm. Wheel. W H E E L. Wheel. Vacuum. V A C U U M. Vacuum. Parachute. P A R A C H U T E. Parachute. Snake. S N A K E. Snake. Helicopter. H-E-L-I-C-O-P-T-E-R. Helicopter. Cake. C A K E Cake Tomato T O M A T O <laughs> Tomato Monkey. M O N K E Y. Monkey. Butterfly. B U T T E R F L Y. Butterfly.
fly. Scissors. F C I F F O R F. Ah! Scissors. Picture. P I T C H E R. Picture Pelican P E L I C A N Pelican Barrel B A R R E L Ooh. 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 Barrel Submarine F U B M A R I N E Submarine Octopus Hammer. H A M M E R. <laughs> Hammer. Arthur's family helped him study. Grandma asked Arthur his spelling words. Now spell trouble, honey. T R O U B L E. That's right there. How about your C H O R E S? Father asked. I will. After I finish my homework, Dad. Have you made your B E D? Mother added. Y E S, Mom. Now spell eclusive. Oh, I mean bicycle. B I C Y C L E. Bicycle. Spell computer, Arthur. C O M P U T E R. Computer. That's right, son. Arthur, spell sister. B R A T brat. I am not Arthur. S I S T E R sister. D W helped too. When Francine and Buster came over, D W answered the door. She said, I don't have to study.
must know all the words by now. Gosh, he's working hard. Gosh, he's working hard. Can I play with you? Well, okay. okay. I'll never learn all these words in time. <gasps> Never learn all these words in time. <gasps> Have fun studying, Arthur. <gasps> oh, I can't believe the spellathon is finally here, said Grandma. Maybe now we'll get a little peace and quiet, D.W. said. Good, Good luck, luck, Arthur, Arthur. said mother and father. Artist of the Week Picasso Artist of the Week Picasso <laughs> Mom, can we go now? Not yet, dear. Don't worry, dear. You're going to do just fine, dear. <laughs> Just do the best you can, son. Phew. Oh, I don't think I'm ready. Take your seats, please. <laughs> Auditorium. Auditorium. Hey, Arthur, we're on. <laughs> From backstage, Arthur could hear the whole school out in the auditorium. Well, today's the big day said Mr. Ratburn. How do you feel? I feel fine, the brain answered. Arthur gulped. Oh, I wish I were still back in bed. Oh, pardon me. <gasps> oh, pardon me. I memorized all the words. I memorized all the words. The auditorium is full. 
Isn't this exciting? It sure is. <laughs> the auditorium is full. Isn't this exciting? It sure is. <laughs> Good luck, boys. The principal welcomed everyone and explained the rules. The brain had the first turn. He stepped up to the microphone. The first word is fear, said the principal. F-E-R-E, -E, said the brain a little too quickly. I'm sorry, said the principal. That's not correct. Are you sure, asked the brain. What dictionary are you using? Good try, brain. Good try, brain. <gasps> wow, whoa. I can't believe this is happening. Wow, the brain missed. <laughs> Doesn't my hair look beautiful? Uh, I thought he said fur. <laughs> Doesn't my hair look beautiful? The brain wasn't the only one to drop out quickly. The representatives from Miss Sweetwater's and Mrs. Fink's class were gone in a flash. Before long, only Arthur and Prunella were left. It was Prunella's turn. The word is preparation, said the principal. Prunella looked down at her feet. Could I have the definition, please? She asked after a moment. Preparation, the principal repeated. The process of getting ready. Of course, said Prunella. P R E P. She paused. E R A T I O N. I'm sorry, that's incorrect, said the principal. Now Arthur gets a chance to spell it. Arthur, are you ready? Yes. Arthur looked out over the audience and took a deep breath. <gasps> Preparation, he said. P-R-E-P-A-R-A-T-I-O-N. Correct, said the principal. Everyone in Mr. Ratburn's class cheered. <laughs> That's my grandson. <laughs> Way to go, Arthur! 
I'm glad I studied. I'm so proud. That's my boy. That's my grandson. <laughs> then, Mr. Ratburn went to the microphone. I'm very proud of Arthur, he said. In fact, I'm proud of my whole class. They worked very hard. Smile, please. Will you please smile for the camera lady? Thanks, kids. Everyone did such a nice job. Congratulations, Arthur. Gee, thanks. L E P S A L O. Spellathon. H N T. Congratulations, Arthur. Thanks, Brain. Hi, Grandma! Hi! This is the last third grade I'll have in the Spellathon. But next year, I look forward to a new challenge, teaching kindergarten. <laughs> oh, no! Let's have a big hand for everyone in the Spellathon. Oh, he is so handsome. Excuse me. 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 That'll be fun, DW. <laughs> That's your class, D.W. Teaching kindergarten, Mr. Rapper. See you next year, D.W. How lucky for you, D.W. Let's have a big hand for everyone in the Spellathon. Let's have a big hand for everyone in the Spellathon.
Thank you all for coming. We'll see you at the Spellathon next year. So long. I'll see you next time. To have the story read to you, click right here. If you want to play inside a certain page, click on the arrow to select the page you want. And then click OK. Okay, rough, here's your bone, ready? Whoa, I didn't know my own strength. Go get it, rough. Where's Ruff gonna find his bone? In the jungle. Under sea. On another planet. Wow! You want to find out whether Ruff ever gets his bone? Then get living books. Ruff's bone. See you then. If you want to play inside a certain page, <laughs> if you want to play inside a certain page, to have the story read to you, Are you sure you want to quit? Okay. To have the story read. Are you sure you want to quit? Okay. Goodbye.